All right, so we found some information about meerkats in our first video. Now we're going to read a story about meerkats on Epic. And as we're reading, try to think of some adaptations. What are some things that help the meerkats stay alive? Okay, meerkats. What are they? They have fun just like you. They work, play, and rest too. They dig in the sand and lie in the sun. Most often, you'll find more than one. What are they? Meerkats. All about meerkats. Meerkats are funny to look at. Sometimes they stand on their back legs. Their paws hang down, out, hang down in front. Meerkats belong to the mongoose family. They live in the desert. It is hot and dry there. This is a mongoose. So they're in the same kind of family. Think of them like cousins. A meerkat's home is under the ground. It's called a burrow. Long tunnels lead to rooms. Meerkats sleep in the burrow at night. A burrow is a hole or tunnel that an animal digs to use as a home. On the menu. Meerkats eat many things. Their favorite foods are beetles and scorpions. They like lizards and grubs too. So you have a scorpion, a beetle, a lizard, and grubs. How do meerkats find most of their food? They dig for it. What makes a super fast digger? Long curvy claws and four digging paws. So that to me seems like an adaptation that helps them survive. They use their long claws to dig. For food. Big family. Meerkats live in a big group. A few families live all together. Their, their group is called a mob. Meerkats work and rest together. They also play and sleep together. So they like to be in big groups, right? In a big family. A job to do. Every meerkat has a job. Each job helps the group. This is the babysitter that watches the babies. Most of the adults are out hunting. Young meerkats need care, so babysitters watch over them. Guards. Guards watch for predators. They stand on a hill, rock, or tree. The guards make a loud peeping sound. This warns the others, look out. Teachers. The teachers, the teachers show young meerkats how to find a meal. They show them how to eat it too. Feeders. Babies need milk. Mothers and other females in the mob feed the babies. The feeders take turns. So they all have jobs in this family where they take care of each other. That's another thing they do to survive, right? Seven cool facts about meerkats. One, meerkats sometimes often share their, sometimes share their homes with the yellow mongoose. This one. Two, meerkats have great noses. They can smell food that's under the sand. That sounds like an adaptation. Three, oh no, I can't see number three because of this bar. Hmm. Let's see. Meerkats like to snuggle to keep warm. Number four, meerkats lie in the sun to warm up. Number five, a meerkat can dig hundreds of holes in one morning. Number six, a meerkat's burrow usually has about 15 rooms. And number seven, we cannot see. I'm sorry, guys. We can't see the last one. Meerkat babies are called pups. They're born with their eyes closed. The pups grow fast. They run and dig, and soon the pups will be all grown up. Look at their cute little eyes. Meerkats know what to do when a predator arrives. Sometimes they stand together. They show their teeth and hiss. This might scare off the predator. Other times, meerkats just run. They hide in a bolt 
whole. Meerkats are fun to watch, but what's extra special about them? Meerkats help each other. Sticking together keeps them safe. The end. All right, so let's see. Oh, it sounds like they have so many adaptations, guys. So many things that help them stay safe and alive. So turn your page to the adaptations. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna go fast, but remember, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video. So they have long claws. That's one adaptation. How do the long claws help them survive? The long claws help them dig for food. The long claws help them dig for food. So remember, if you're copying it down, pause the video, okay? Now we just saw something here. Where was the book? We saw something in the fun facts. It says meerkats have great noses. They can smell food under the sand. So that is something else that helps them survive. They have great noses. This helps them find food. But there are so many things. Remember in the story, in the book, it said that their under eyes, the darkness of their under eyes, acts like sunglasses to help protect them from the bright sun. And then there's one more that we're going to do that I think is very important. Okay. This isn't a physical feature, but it's a behavior. The meerkats live in mobs. They live in big groups, and that helps them stay safe because they take care of each other. So an adaptation is that they live in mobs, like families. How does this adaptation help the animal survive? Well, it helps them. They help or they protect, let's say take care. They take care of each other. They take, oh, this eraser is awful. They take care of each other. Alrighty, we're going to leave this last one blank. If you can think of something else to add, another adaptation that we learned about the meerkats, you go ahead and add it, but you don't have to. We can stop right here. Okay, so we learned that some of the adaptations that help the meerkats stay alive is that they have long claws to dig for food. They use their good noses, their good sense of smell to look for food and they live in mobs and they take care of each other in these mobs. They help each other, they protect each other from predators and all of that. Okay, so this was the end of video two. Um, go on to the next part of your research.